Welcome to another episode of Comedy Wham! Presents The Current with me, your host Valerie, and brought to you by David Thomas. ComedyWham.com is your place to go for features about all Austin comedy. David and I started this project earlier this year. I love interviewing funny people, and he loves writing about them. We'll be bringing you podcasts featuring the best in Austin comedy in all its shapes and formats. I'll be doing these interviews in two parts, the past and the current. Consider these bite-sized ways for you to get to know the folks that make the Austin comedy scene one of the best in the country. And now, the current with our guest, Christina Parrish. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we, I like to kick off this part with something that says a question. How is that for interviewing skills? Something that says a question. Boy. How would you describe your life today, Christina? Um, today. Um, I want to do something other than odd, but it's, um, man. That's and this is a description either. I'm not even making you pick one word. Oh, that's later. No, oh, no. Oh, I like yes, to shake yes. things up. Today, I would describe it as, you know, uh, going through the motions. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that, yeah, <laughs> kind of that. You're making the sausage, but you're not in the stew yet. Right, yeah, that one. Does that nail it? Does that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, in the, I'm not in the stew. I'm just not. I'm more in the sausage. <laughs> We talked a little bit early, uh, we talked in the past about, uh, how you would describe your comedy style. Right. And, you know, you, you keep bringing up the word odd and different. And, um, you had mentioned one of the things or types of programs that you like to watch, uh, it's the Eric and Andre show, which is very just, you don't know what is happening. Right. And, um, I want to spend time talking in this episode about your, awesome videos oh yeah because oh, i think they're they're brilliant and not only from the perspective that you've written them but your performance in these videos like i'm gonna fangirl and say <laughs> the misunderstood is i've watched it several times oh, now because really? it's just so funny the just the start to end and the the wordsmithing that you used to convey the whole misunderstood Right. concept it's just so good oh, and then the thanks. conclusion is just like oh my god it's so <laughs> perfect and i don't want to spoil it i want people to go and watch it yeah but uh i don't know where in the sequence of the the many videos that you have that one falls is that earlier on you said your That's, first one was kill him with kindness yeah misunderstood is like maybe the third video i okay. made yeah, yeah. Well, is it? It's the third or fourth video, I think, because I made Love Hurts and then I made Misunderstood. That was great too. Yeah, God, yeah, the yeah. Love. Hurts. It's kind of the same. Yeah. The conclusion of Love Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> your commitment to your costume, shall we say? Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess both of Love Hurts and Misunderstood. Was... There's a degree of commitment to a costume. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. I mean, anything with food, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh god um how did did you just did these ideas come to you naturally or do you have to i guess describe your process for writing one of these um well it's it's very sporadic like i i work on uh like two or three things at the same time okay but i leave things to sit for months you know it's uh -huh. It's not the most, um, I wish, I, I want to be better about it, but it's not the most, uh, uh, good, it's not a really good work ethic, maybe. But I, sometimes things will just, things will happen. A lot of times it's when I like, if I'm listening to a song, then I feel like the song is scoring something mm -hmm. in my brain, and then I have to write that idea down. And I don't always get to the script with those ideas, you know, sometimes they just end up being, drafts in my phone or something mm -hmm. um but i just uh things just come to my brain or um if i find like for those videos it was a word for me love her it's killing with kindness misunderstood those were word videos for me so then i um sort of like uh 
well, in my day to day life, if I'm like sitting somewhere or whatever, things, I'm constantly having like things running through my brain and I'll focus in off, oh, okay. for those I wanted to write about that, what that word means sort mm-hmm. of to me. And so then things would just kind of pile on. And then when you're writing, sometimes things can just like stack upon themselves, you know, like where you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, you get in like a groove. But, uh, I'm, it, it is hard to, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's not, it's not easy, but it's not the hardest thing, maybe. I, I, I don't know, but, yeah. Of the yeah. three forms, do you have a current favorite between the videos, stand up, and improv? Do you have a, a favorite? Oh, I love making videos. Like, yeah. I wish I could just, I wish I could just do that. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's, it's, it's awesome. Like, even, I mean, it sucks when it doesn't go over well, right? Mm. You know, like if I show a video and there's not as many laughs as I thought there would be. Oh man, it blows, blows balls. But I will look at it in a few months later or whatever and I'll be really proud of the fact that I just, I just completed something. And, um, there was this, uh, this, this interview with Marie Bamford that I read a few, uh, weeks ago that I that I am now putting into perspective about how I do videos, which is or stand up or anything, which is she talked about like feeling uh, feeling like you know th- performing and uh, for her I guess like sometimes is really nerve wracking or whatever, mm-hmm. but she doesn't focus on the bombing or the 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 um, the bad aspects on it. She just puts it in as work. You know, it's just doing the work. And for me, I don't know why that clicks so well. It's just like, oh, if you just think about it as you're just doing work, you know, then all that acceptance stuff sort of fades away and you realize, oh, I just got to just make this because this is work. I'm putting the more videos I do, the better I will get at this. Right. It's You're not thinking about... I, I don't think about the crowd or my audience and I know that's bad, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think about those things because for me, I'm nobody and it doesn't matter what I do right now when I write things. I mean, that matters for, you know, terrible people, but, um, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I, what I, I do. It's just putting in the work, the reps and getting stuff out and, you know, stretching my like writing skills, my brain and mm-hmm. making things better, you know, um, yeah, did that answer? Yeah, your question? and okay, cool. the the thing that I've I observed from the videos, and it's interesting that in the the past episode you talked about how you don't, you know, you you're you don't think you're that smart, or you just you know because of the path that you chose, you're not getting the doctor degree, whatever. Mm-hmm. But all of these that I've seen are really really smart. Oh, so you know you. Oh, tricks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I pulled out my old bag of tricks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the other observation that I have is it seems like more and more the things that are getting attention are comedies that don't strike you as comedy. Like mm-hmm. I'm going to pick on a local favorite, Baskets, right. is a show that yeah, I just watched the latest episode and it's there's not that much that's comedic within it, but you understand some comedic sensibility within it. Right. And I would say watching those videos is a very strong parallel between your style and that type of comedy uh, project, if you will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I, uh, I, whenever I write something... It's just crazy to me how your subconscious will just dig out all the things and it'll just, and it'll push things out when you're not aware of Mm -hmm. that it's doing that. And so when I watched these videos, I was really trying to, it's like I was trying to really try to be real, you know, but also odd, like mask it a little bit mm-hmm. with some comedy so it's not like depressing, yeah. you know, yeah. like space therapy was very, was very much that, you know, like I totally was going through something when I was writing that and now when I rewatch it, I'm like, oh my God, how embarrassing, like I used all these actors as my tools to like, almost like be have therapy or something like huh. that um but it, it i like those things when 
when you can tell that the writer is trying to be not just slapstick. They're just trying to yeah. be like life is sucks and it's and it's sometimes funny how much it sucks. You know, I really I just really like that. It's really cool. Yeah. You mentioned space therapy. Is that your latest? Yeah, that's the available latest. for for consumption video yes. show. Eat it, eat it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my latest. It's like a four four part little web series okay. um, about people uh, in space dealing with their problems. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's it's really weird. But yeah, you'll have to. Whoever it is, and we'll have to watch it because then it gets, it's, it's an odd thing. But everybody in it was so great. I mean, I couldn't, I literally couldn't have done it without them, but their, the, the humor that everybody brought to the table was just awesome. Like, when I write things sometimes, I, most of the time, I think about people who I know, who I think are funny, or people who I just haven't worked with. Uh huh. And I, take on what their persona is to me if I didn't know them. Yeah. And then I just, just, you know, push it all out. And so it was really funny. Cause Matt, and like, what I get, Dustin says a lot is like, Mac Blake, I guess he, you know, he, he's not like an angry guy, but I made him so angry in this, uh, sketch. And, you know, Aaron, he's, he's an innocent dude. He's, he's good. But I made him so perverted, so <laughs> gross and like very, uh, very naughty and um like John Mendoza. Ooh, did I just say naughty? How gross. Um <laughs> John Mendoza, he's such a quiet guy and I made him literally super quiet and really sad. And so it was it was really fun. Uh that they brought they made it they made it, you know. Mm-hmm. So is that you said that's a four part yeah, series? So there's four there's four little videos. Um right now we're putting them on YouTube but uh they're on Funny or Die right now. Their, cool. Like website. So they, they they didn't get any like response from Funny or Die. I figured, but um, they're on there. They're on my little YouTube channel on that mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very cool. Well, we've got to make make sure we promote that. Um, so the videos that I've seen, and you can tell me if there are more than this, are the Love Hurts, Kill 'Em with Kindness, I Feel You. Which I feel you was the big on a big ensemble yeah. one as well, or maybe I'm no. That's there's that's, a ton of people in that. Yeah. Okay. Then misunderstood, and now space therapy. Am I missing others? I feel like Mm-mm. there might be others. No. Okay. There's. I've been in a couple of like my friend Sara uh, June. She oh. does videos. So I've been in a couple of her videos, uh, but those are the ones that I have written and put out. And your acting sensibilities are really good in these two. Yeah. Well, so. I I did. I no. <laughs> I I studied acting for a, a little while since when I was like okay. since I moved here from when I was fifteen, and uh, uh, with a teacher, Mona Lee. Like, I I I try. I go. I do that. Like um, with a, uh, I'm with an agency and so so I I do that. But it's like. You know, there's no, there's no like good funny stuff like film wise coming through Austin that I get put on auditions mm-hmm. for. And that also makes me do these things more too. Cause sure. then it's just like, I can just do, I can literally, of course, I mean, it'd be weird to reject myself from acting in my own video. <laughs> <laughs> but what a good little thing well, I That might be a future episode <laughs> or a future show for you to explore that yeah. concept. Rejection. <laughs> Since you like to trigger off of words. Yeah. Uh, rejection, what I think about. <laughs> um, do you have current shows that you're working on? Um, so I'm actually going to like debut this movie thing, this like short film. It's like 25 minutes. Uh, that I made on, over the course of like the past like two and a half, three years. And that'll be on March 25th at the, the new movement. It's okay. called This Is Art Baby. Uh, it's, it is my favorite thing that I've made. And it may be very, one of the oddest things <laughs> I've 
I mean, it is, it's, I don't, I hope to God that one person at least likes it because then I can walk away feeling good because I don't know if anyone will. <laughs> so that's premiering March 25th? Yeah. Exciting. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, okay, so you've got that coming up. You've got videos people can go check out. Is there other stuff that you're you're doing right now that you want to? Um, there's, Mention? there's, there's, there's not m much else. I mean, I'm just, I'm just writing this, uh, this, like, weird film about a brother and sister, uh, falling in love. And that's about it. Uh, man, this, this, what is good? There's Sounds something wrong fun. with me. I need to go and do an institution. <laughs> No. She'll it sounds freak. like your your creative bounds have not you know, you haven't put any creative <laughs> limits on yourself. No, no, no. Sometimes it can be bad. Let us do that for you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, well let's wrap up with a closing question. Now we're back to the one word. Describe your future. Oh this my future. Um um, I, I hope that it involves dogs, uh, and I hope <laughs> it involves some uh, uh, sense of confidence and happiness, uh, so, because then it would just be easier to, um, you know, do, do the things that I love, you know. Mm. Maybe that? Yeah. Fuck. Maybe eating a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my future is about to devour these tacos from Taco Mix. Oh, that's right. They've been staring at you yes. for a while. So we need to wrap this up so you can do that. No, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a wrap on Comedy Wham Presents The Current with our guest, Christina Parrish. Tell us where we can find you on social media and be sure to mention the YouTube. Oh, yes. You can find me on Twitter at IBE Super, IV Super. And you can find me on YouTube um, on under IB Super or just Christina Parrish. I have a YouTube channel there. Subscribe! <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> You'll, you can subscribe along with my dad. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do it. You won't regret it. Some yeah. Very good videos out there. Listen to part one for more information about how Christina got to be the comedic genius you heard today. You have been listening to Comedy Wham Presents, The Current, hosted by me, Valerie, and brought to you by David Thomas. Be sure to visit ComedyWham.com and give us a follow on Twitter at ComedyWham. I'm Valerie, and that's been funny. <laughs> <laughs>